What is up guys, back in today with another reaction to Shikan Loko Noko Noko Koshi Tan Tan, uh, this time with episode 4. Uh, another fun episode last week, uh, looking forward to seeing what we got together today, as, as usual, no idea what to expect, but um, yeah, we'll get straight into it. Uh, do let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comment section. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys do like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. Of course, we had our new member last week and it looks like we got another 3 here. Oh yeah, I think we saw these girls at the end of the episode, didn't we? Just one. <laughs> oh, I love that that red hair girl's clothes. <laughs> what is what? Like, excuse me. <laughs> Could they not find clothes that fit this girl? What's going on with her? Okay, so which one is it? Do you know what? I think the most likely candidate is the green-haired one, funnily enough. Because there's already a green-haired girl that loves Koshi Tan. As well as the red-haired girl, already looking slightly angry, a bit like an angry cat. And the blue-haired girl looking a bit sus. Like, she looks the least sus, which automatically kind of makes her the most sus. Which might be a play. At actually, maybe it's the obvious. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I guess it would be a club activity, wouldn't it? I am just going to uh, sort the time out and mute quickly, just uh, for copyright purposes. Oh, I sort the time out. Oh, wow. Lucky I did look at the time, or I didn't actually reset it from uh, yesterday. <laughs> Oh, I've actually got a version with the English subtitles. I don't usually have that. Or maybe I just don't pay attention. <laughs> the visuals are, yeah. The visuals are the visuals. Kaosu. Okay, so yeah, as I said, I will uh, just sort out the timer quickly for you guys. I do really like that opening. But there's been a lot of really great openings this season, hasn't there? More than uh, more than usual, actually. Oh, I will also unmute. Here we go. Ice Prez. So her name literally cat. Got Neko in there. Fair enough. So she is the one that wants them to disband, okay. Oh, I'm kind of glad you did. <laughs> so it was, uh, the obvious is very much out there, okay. Yeah, I like her design, it's pretty cute. 
going to. It reminds me of like a uh, a Cheshire cat or something. A bit of a moody cat, perhaps. Do you know what? It's quite yeah. That's quite funny, isn't it? She's always got this little fucking <laughs> this little stairs. I guess she would kind of have to. Yeah, hundred and thirty centimeters. I guess she would kind of have to, wouldn't you? Quite cute. Secretary. Tanuki. Yeah. So they're all like, he's a tanuki. She's a cat. We've got a deer. They're all like animal girls. <laughs> what what would uh what would Koshi sound be here? I think her name's Koshi again, apologies for the names. She'd be an ape or a gorilla, I guess. <laughs> Tanoki. And the only the only reason I ever know what a Tanoki actually is is because of Mario. Is it Mario three? I forget which one it is. One of the not not the first ones of Mario, but yeah. Before it became three D, there was at least one game of the Tanuki suit, wasn't there? Pretty cool shot that one. Like. It kind of reminds me of Psychopass. So what's the next girl? What kind of animal is she? Shiharu. Shiha. I don't know what that is. Maybe she's just a normal girl. Subameya. Subame. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah let, you guys let me know what you guys think the animal this girl is, because again, the other two are kind of animal girls. Uh, I imagine she is as well, but I just I don't know what her name translates to. Maybe it's like an owl or something. Oh, I actually did lock it. Well, I was fully expecting that not to be the case. Oh, 
Uh, I would just Google it quickly, but I, I, I think it might actually be a struggle to find, to be honest with you, what Subame translates to. Again, I didn't, I didn't really get too much of a vibe of what Animal it was like. It was pretty obvious, obviously, with Neko Champ. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Maybe she, okay, maybe she's like a koala or something, I don't know. I don't know, I've got no fucking clue. Oh, why'd you have throw the green hair on out? He's just talking about rice. Very, uh, intimately. <laughs> but that was, like, reasonably normal. Oh, God, that looks, that looks wrong right there. And booted. Not again, man. <laughs> that's just the uh, that's just the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? Yeah, one of the deer, of course. Yeah. Oh my god, she's positively shining. What kind? Of, she she comes some kind of herbivore creature then? Talking like she's not a girl. She might, she might just be a normal girl. But evidently not, but <laughs> creature that likes little snacks and grass. So she, yeah, some kind of herbivore. Maybe she's like a, um, I don't know, a hedgehog. <laughs> the design doesn't really give anything away. It's quite like darkly and smooth, but yeah. Maybe she doesn't not like you. Maybe she's just not a big fan of you. As much as she is a big fan of the deer.
No, she's a massive fan. Uh, she's like a super fan. Well, very impressive she kept uh, reasonably cool during that whole meeting then. Google. <laughs> Google. <laughs> the drama, my dude. Yeah, or they usually like the kissing spot or something. Oh dear. Yeah, there's no way they didn't hear them in there, right? That was just purposeful. Oh shit. Already. <laughs> Already. Yeah. What's that say? There's no subtitles for it, unfortunately. It probably, it probably, it's probably something from uh, like the Shining or something. <laughs> All work and no play makes Tanaka Goji sad. A hey, uh, <laughs> a happy girl. Some oh oh, Car San. I think that so something about her mum, perhaps there. I don't really, I can't, yeah, I can't really translate the rest. I don't even know if that does say mum. I think that might be the last letter to her mum before she dies. <laughs> this is what I'm getting from that, perhaps. I don't know. Not quite the uh, Jack Nicholson. I do like her name, though. It's actually really cool. Tanaka Koji-san. I like that. I don't know why. It's got a catchy ring to it. Anika Koshi san. Ugh, gorgeous guys. <laughs> oh, eat the fuckers, bed. Yes, do you know what? That's actually a pretty cool kind of start to a kind of Japanese horror game or movie or something. Have these girls get locked in here, die, become vengeful spirits. The only way you can fend them off is to give them bed, feed them. And that's only for a limited amount of time. Sure, they can fit through that, right? Those bar, those bars look big enough, actually. Oh, there's glass, glass and bars. To be honest with you, if I was at school, 
if I was at school and got locked in there and no one else was around, I would break the window. Uh, you'd probably get cut up quite bad, actually. I'd break something to get out. I mean, it is a true bond, I guess. It's a one-way bond. <laughs> Got this. Uh, the show Roblox does like their original songs, don't they? <laughs> and they've all been pretty good so far. I like the uh, Koshi Town song last week, but I it kind of gets bored from watching it on YouTube. Uh, watching it on Twitter, should I say? Oh, what a little, uh, what a little cute real deer. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly today, guys. Reflecting. Not really much of a punishment. <laughs> if you, yeah. First of all, you don't deserve it. Secondly, like, what kind of punishment is this? Into that part. So basically, just be a good person. So basically, just be who you should be anyway. Is what I'm gaining from these rules. Of being a uh, a senpai to a kohai. Is life. Here's the classic. I wonder whose theme this is. <laughs> I wonder who this is. <laughs> Scary fucking shit, okay, right there. That was actually a little disturbing. Oh, they're in there. Oh, crap. Oh, that, was, that, was, that looks like Freddy Krueger's chin, right there. That looks like a relative of Freddy Krueger. Actually, a relative of Freddy Krueger would just look like a normal person, wouldn't they? <laughs> I do like mushrooms, though. Mushrooms are nice. Oh, dear. You know what, again? I do like that girl. I do like that red-haired girl. Again, I like her design quite a lot. Pretty cute. Yeah, I think I was watching. Uh, again, another fun episode today, meeting a fair few characters, and uh, I think we did see the, the girls from the student council at the end of last week's episode, but really got introduced to them today, didn't we? Might as well just do the outro during the uh, during the ending song here, but again, another anime original song there, which was pretty cool. I like the effort they put into stuff like that. The facial expressions, especially from Shikanoko today, were pretty cool as well, weren't they? But um, yeah, I like all the new girls, actually, they're all pretty cool. I think this one that we focused on at last, probably the least, she seems like kind of the most plain, doesn't she? I uh, quite like the purple haired one, but again, especially the redhead, I'm looking forward to seeing more of her going forward for sure, being an absolute menace, probably. That's just how cats are. But yeah, again, if any of you guys do do know what this Sue or or whatever her name is, <laughs> what animal she is, please let me know.
Yo, I would like to go visit this place. Is it Nara Park? I'd be a little bit scared though. I know deer, I know especially in this place, the deer are quite like, I don't know, they always seem a bit needy as well. I've seen videos of people go to this place and the deer are always like, they always come up to the human and they're always like, um, I don't know, they seem a bit like, they know what they're getting, if you know what I'm saying. They're, they're a little bit greedy in terms of like, yeah, they see a human, they're like, hmm, the, uh, the snacks, uh, I can't know what they're called, <laughs> the crackers. Uh, they, they know the humans are there to like give them the crackers, so they're all like, they all come after you and such. And I, I'd be a little bit scared, especially with the horns, because those horns are dangerous if they get angry. Um, but yeah, do let me know what you guys uh, think about this episode down in the comments section. Another really good episode. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date. I'll be back next week with episode five, so I'll see you guys then. And have a good rest of your day, guys.